Some people say that autumn is the most beautiful season of the year. Well, I would say this is probably true. There is definitely no other season that is this colorful. Now, of course, traveling during autumn quite differs from summer and thus there are other attractions that are very much exciting to visit during this season. I've traveled across the entire country to find the best places to visit during the golden season. Strap yourself in for the top 10 Switzerland attractions to visit during autumn. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Jemographic. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jemu. I'm a Swiss traveler, mostly posting videos about Switzerland and Southeast Asia. If you like this kind of content, then definitely arrive in this channel here and you're most welcome to subscribe. Let's hop right in directly with number 10 and that would be the village of Romain Moutier with its nearby waterfalls. In the middle of the Jura Vaudois lays Romain Mottier, which is by the way considered one of the most beautiful villages of Switzerland. It's very peaceful, there are many beautiful old houses and definitely the church is very scenic and also historic. Now, although it's really beautiful to spend time in the village, actually what's even more interesting during this season is the surrounding. The forest with its colors and then the nearby waterfalls. So first I suggest you should visit the Tine de Gonflant. It's a small gorge with a very small waterfall. Really nice, especially to visit during the morning. Then you should head to the Cascade du Dar, another really beautiful waterfall, very humble, very calm, and most likely you're going to be all alone. So it's about a 10 to 15 minutes walk from the parking lot and you will see it's just super beautiful with all the colors during this season. And the third waterfall to visit would be the Sodi Day. Here you'll have to walk about 20 to 25 minutes down to the canyon. It's really beautiful, it's definitely also going to be calm. And I would say it's really nice to visit during the later afternoon. What's really great, you can visit all of that just in one day, spend one or two hours in the village, then head to the waterfalls there within a 15 minutes radius from Romain Mottier. Number 9 is in the canton of Bern, and that would be the vineyards around Legolz. One of the best things to see during autumn are definitely the vineyards. Now a place that I very much like is Legolz. It's very calm, it's not very well known. Because of that you may enjoy pure serenity. It's really nice to go for a hike walk in the middle of the vineyards and then just enjoy this fantastic vista over the lake. I quite like this pilgrimage church which is pretty eye-catching, a great subject for photography and also got to know that it's apparently very popular to go here for a wedding. I think it's really dreamy. If you want to visit this place during autumn then I would highly recommend you to go there during the second half of October. During that time, the leaves of the vineyards are going to turn golden and it's just going to look very beautiful. Now regarding the time, I suggest it's best to arrive in the later afternoon. You will see the very strong golden shine and then all the colors in the sky. And you may even have a great view over the Alps. Number 8 would be the beautiful cave called Grotte de Valor. Although I consider autumn being the most beautiful season, it doesn't always mean that you're going to get good weather, so at times it may actually be raining. If that's the case, then go for indoor activities, and here I highly recommend you to visit the Grotte de Valorbe. It lays in the canton of Vaux in southwestern Switzerland. It's a very large cave system with beautiful stalagmites and stalactites, and everything just really looks beautiful in there. Because this place is so fascinating, I call it the Cave of Wonders of Switzerland. I'm pretty sure once you've entered the cave after 50 to 100 meters, you're going to feel most likely the same. The visit should take around 40 to 60 minutes and it's definitely going to be very relaxing. For number seven, we're changing to the wonderful canton of Valle and that would be beautiful Champelac.
Because many of you, when you think about Switzerland, you think about perfect places with little people, and I can promise to you, you're going to find your perfect hidden gem right in here, at Champelac. It's a very serene lake embedded into the mountains, and the atmosphere is going to feel fantastic. Because of its appearance with the mountains, larches and pine trees, many people actually consider this being the Canada of Switzerland. I found the lake is beautiful to visit during any time of the year, but during autumn it's definitely going to be very interesting from mid-October to November. There are a few larches up there that are going to turn golden, however most of the trees they are pine trees and they are going to stay green. And what's very interesting, during November there is quite a chance that it may snow up there and then it's definitely going to be very beautiful. When I went there on my fourth visit during November, the entire landscape was covered in snow and it was just really magical. Basically experiencing early Christmas vibes in November. Definitely should go and hike around the lake. As you're proceeding the impression is always going to change and definitely the western part that's the most beautiful one. During October and November there are definitely going to be enough parking lots and it's even free if you're staying less than one hour. Number six is located in the canton of Vaux and these are the famous vineyard terraces called Lavo. I consider the Lavo being one of Switzerland's most beautiful regions. You may be familiar with the rice terraces of Southeast Asia. Well, in the Lavo you will find wine terraces. And they're by the way UNESCO World Heritage. The Lavo are nice to visit during late spring and summer, but I find it's even more spectacular during autumn. It is the golden shine of the leaves what makes this region appear especially beautiful. Now my favorite places to visit in this region are the three villages of Epes, Riva and saint saphorin Having been there many times, I would say you can get the best views in Epes, but make sure you hike a bit around, especially uphill. I furthermore consider Epes being one of the top villages of Switzerland. Less known but quite a discovery has been Riva. I first got to know about this town when having taken this amazing road ending up in this wonderful village. So Riva is definitely my secret tip, it's calm and it's definitely not much touristy. My two last visits during autumn have been really great. First I arrived there when they were harvesting the grapes and then once again in November. There was a sudden heavy rainfall and I wasn't really hopeful, but then I just got to notice it's actually going to stop really quickly and then thankfully this has resulted in one of the most spectacular sunsets I've ever experienced on my travels around Switzerland. Thus, I highly recommend you to be here for sunset, especially during autumn to see the red glow on the golden vineyards. We're number 5 moving to the upper half of this top 10 list of the best attractions here in Switzerland during autumn. We're now heading to the canton of Valle and that would be the Val d'Erin and the Lac Bleu in Arola. We're shifting to the Val d'Erin, which is one of my favorite valleys here in Switzerland. What is really nice as you're entering the valley, you will reach Eusenie with the natural pyramids, which I consider being Switzerland's natural Disney castle. Well, I guess there is no better way of being welcomed. Now, what you really should do is to drive up to Evolen. That's one of my favorite villages. It's very calm. It's, by the way, also considered being one of Switzerland's most beautiful villages very serene and then with all these wooden houses it's just a great ensemble. Then consider driving up to Lassage, this is a place that I very much enjoyed. You can hike in the forest, it's very serene, you get really beautiful views down the cliff to Evolen. Well, that's actually very impressive and I guarantee there is barely going to be anyone. But then the highlight actually awaits you up in Arola. The way up there is quite adventurous. The road is really curvy, then the tunnels they look very rustic, but this is what the rural sides of Switzerland and the Alps are all about, adventurous roads. Now once you reach Avola, park your car there, by the way the parking is free, 
and then you'll have to hike up to the Lac Bleu, the Blue Lake. There are two hiking trails, you can either take the easy one, which takes around 70 to 80 minutes. Now myself, I took the short one, it's quite steep, but then it only takes 40 minutes. The way up there is really beautiful, you're going to pass some small settlements, and then you're always going to see many of these golden larches. Now once you reach the lake, you're going to find yourself in a really magical environment. Wow, actually that was one of my best ever autumn moments I had. You will see the ensemble of the colors, the golden larches, the snow mountains, and then the shine of the blue water. Wow, that's so beautiful. There weren't many people up there. All in all, I found it was really serene, just really great to immerse yourself into this unique environment. And I would actually say the lake is really best to be visited in the second half of October. Now before we're hopping to number six, there's one thing that I really need to clarify. There is another lake that carries a similar name and that would be the Blue Lake of Kandelsteg. So make sure you don't confuse these two lakes. The Lac Bleu is in a French speaking part of Switzerland. The Blue Lake in Kandelsteg is one of the most touristy regions of Switzerland in the Bernese Oberland. There, by the way, you will have to pay entrance fee, but then I will have to say that lake is also very beautiful. Number four is in central Switzerland, and that would be the Fronalpstock. We're heading to central Switzerland to the canton of Schwyz. In here I probably got to witness one of the most beautiful phenomena one could ever experience in autumn, and that would be cloud inversion. For that, November is definitely the best month because then you will have a lot of fog. Now get it, many of you may think fog is really depressing, and at times that's actually true. But here's my advice. Use the fog to your advantage. So take a cabin ride up to the peaks, and then there's a pretty high chance that you may overlook a sea of clouds. And that's exactly what my friend Dominika and I did by going up to the Fronalpstock. Fjerwaldstättersee, in English Lake Lucerne, was fully covered in clouds, and then you only had the peaks that were visible as if they were islands. This is something really unique, especially to witness it during sunset or sunrise. Now, if you want to come here during November, then you have to do that during the weekends to stay overnight, but otherwise you can also experience that just during the day. It's definitely going to be something very different, not the usual thing people would do, but then afterwards, I'm pretty sure you will have a lot of great stories to share to your friends. We're now moving up to the podium of the best attractions in Switzerland during autumn. Number three is actually where I'm standing right here, and that would be the Seelsesee. We're now moving to the Upper Engadin, one of Switzerland's most touristy regions. My go-to-go -go spot is the Lake of Sils, which happens to be quite non-touristy. The good news is it's only about 20 minutes from St. Moritz, the touristy center of the Upper Engadin. What I find is really fascinating about the Lake of Sils during October are the many golden larches that are going to beautifully contrast the deep blue color of the lake. Once you arrive at the Silsesee, I highly recommend you to park at this slot. By the way, it's free, and then you should definitely go for a hike. I felt it's a really easy hike, first walking through this beautiful forest, and then you're going to reach higher from where you can get great views. Having arrived at the village, you will already have a beautiful panorama over the Swiss Alps and the lake. There is this rock, which I found happens to be a really great photo spot. Now if you want to hike further up, you can definitely do that, I'm pretty sure it's great. As you're reaching higher, you will definitely have a better view. But if you feel that's already good enough, then just hike again down to the parking lot. However, before you leave, I highly recommend you to visit my secret spot, which one of the locals has recommended me back in 2018. I'm talking about this peninsula, which just happens to be next to the parking lot. In total, I went there three times, but when I arrived there during October, I do have to say, 
but the golden larches is definitely going to be the most beautiful time. From the lot, it takes about five to 10 minutes. It's an easy walk. However, make sure you stay on the marked trails because once in a while it's quite steep and there are cliffs. Otherwise, just enjoy the scenic views. It's a very calm spot and definitely it's just perfect to enjoy pure serenity. All in all, the Lake of Sills is really great to visit. By the way, just perfect for budget travelers. You don't have to purchase any ticket to park your car and then just hiking around the lake is going to be free. Number two is located in the upper part of the canton of Valle and that would be the largest glacier of the Alps called Alec Glacier. My visit to the Alec Glacier during October has been quite a surprise because things just turned out to be quite different. So initially my friend Johannes and I were aiming to see the sunrise, but apparently that's not even possible during October. Thus we were at least hoping for good weather, but things just seemed to be very pessimistic during the morning. There was a very thick layer of fog, then once I took the last cable ride to ascend the Ekison, things still didn't look better. But then suddenly the cabin penetrated a thick layer of fog and we were just overseeing an ocean of clouds. Being up in the Alps, everything covered in snow and then just standing above the sea of clouds was simply breathtaking. Having waited for a while, the fog started to vanish and then we saw the magnificent Alec Glacier. What I highly can recommend to you is taking this trail to go to the lookout point. You though will have to be a little bit careful. From there you will have a wonderful view down to the valley and to the glacier. It was a very different experience but eventually happens to be a perfect day. We are also able to benefit from this ticket called Herbstsonne. With that you can save quite a lot of money. The ticket covers all the cabin rides in the entire Alec Arena for one day. And in addition, it includes one free lunch. Before I'm presenting to you the number one best thing to do here in Switzerland during autumn, here are a few top honorable mentions. Visiting Zomat by going to the Riffelsee and the Gornegrat, the village of Tiefenkastel, the Landwasserviadukt, the Lag der Balburnia, the Creux du Vent and the Lac des Brunes. And now I present you the number one best thing to do here in Switzerland in the autumn season. Number one goes to the incredibly beautiful Lac de Sao So this here is really the most beautiful spot you could visit during the golden autumn season. Lake Sauceo is about on 2000 meters and it has this really unique heart shape. So in order to reach Lake Sauceo, you will have to make your way to Svasu. This you can either do by car or you take public transport and get out at this station. And then you'll have to hike up for about two hours. I would say this is definitely going to be the more beautiful experience. It's going to be a little bit steep at times, but then you're always going to get really great views. By the way, you will also pass creeks and some tiny lakes. If you're too lazy for that, you will have to reserve a post auto. You can do that online on spb.ch. Then you can actually go up there. So the drive is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. And then from Alp Gump, you have to walk for about 10 to 15 minutes to reach the lake. The lake itself is just out of this world. I was like, Wow, like everything is just so perfect. So you will have these many golden larches, then the green spruces, the snow mountains, and then this blue color is just out of this world. The entire ensemble of colors is just phenomenal. So in total, I went there three times last year, not only because I found it very beautiful, but also if quite a couple of things went wrong. Nevertheless, I really had a great experience and I do have to say this was definitely my biggest highlight of the golden autumn season. One thing I got to realize when I was at this lake is that you will have to hike around it. 
With this, you're always going to have a new impression. There are some really great photo spots, but then you really have to bear in mind the light is not always going to be the same from every angle. And if you arrive here during the morning, then you'll have definitely good sunlight from the east, you can take great photos at this rock, but then towards the afternoon, you're going to have background light, and then this is really not the best spot to be at. So in that case, hike a little bit around. You're going to have really great colors from the south and from the western shore. So many great things to do here in Switzerland during autumn. Now if you want to know how it is to travel in Switzerland during October and November, then you either may want to watch this or that video. Over there, I'm going to explain you all the important things that you need to know. So I'm going to see you in either of these videos.